Okay, there are also on YouTube. YouTube, and last but not least, let's, let's try, try again on Facebook. Okay, we, we should, should now be live, live on, on Facebook, Facebook, Twitch, Twitch and, and YouTube. YouTube. Let's, Let's see if I can keep, keep track, track of all of the... the... Do, I, Do echo? I echo? Oh, oh I, bet I, bet I bet I know what it is. is. I, bet I bet I have, I have both, both my, my microphones, microphones on. on. Hang, Hang on. on. Sources. System sound. No? no? Oh, oh, no, no that's, that's not what I want. This is... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, Microphone. Microphone. I think it's not. I don't know. This is your digit. Okay. okay. Do, Do I, I still? still? Oh, oh, no, I'm buffering. No, Do, Do I still, I still echo? echo? If I still, I still echo, echo, I'll, I'll turn, turn off, off my mic. mic. Just, Just means, means that, that you'll be able, able to hear my computer, computer band. band. But I'll think about why the echo is happening later. Okay. I'm gonna get, get all, all the, the chat up, up so, so I can see, see what you guys, guys are saying. So I think I wish this broadcasting app did was combine the chats. It doesn't. There's, There's still an echo. echo. Okay. okay. Um, um, I'm, gonna I'm gonna turn, turn off, off my exterior, exterior mic. mic. It just, just means, means that the sound won't be as good. good. But I shouldn't echo. Okay. I shouldn't echo anymore. If I still echo, I don't know what's wrong. Whoa. Randy, is that you who just like attacked me? Okay. Switch up. A different echo. Echo is clear. Okay. Um, aggravated damage. Who are you? Like on Facebook or something. How do I how do I know you? So that I can appreciate your existence. Uh, the app I'm using is XSplit. Okay. I have all the different chats up. So if you say something, I should see it. Oh! Zach Storm! Cool! Yeah! I didn't know that wasn't your name. So, that's a fun surprise. 
Um, something went wrong on Facebook. We lost Facebook. Okay, I think I am going to switch to Twitch only, just because managing all three is super hard. So, if you're on YouTube and you can still hear me, I'm definitely dropping Facebook. So the Facebook stream seems to be the most finicky. So hang on. Gotta type that up on the page. So let me get a direct link to the YouTube. And to the Twitches. Oh, I forgot I'm in PC mode. Sorry, I am going to get to the actual, like, crafting. Oh no, we lost YouTube. Oh wait, YouTube's back. Nope, we're switching to just Twitch. Bye, YouTube. Bye, Facebook. This is too hard. I'll upload the broadcast to YouTube and Facebook after. Okay, we are just on Twitch now. Yeah, exactly. First time set up, yo. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. She lied. Okay, let me drop this link on the Facebooks. Switching to just Twitch. push the wrong button. Yep. Hello. I even got a lag on my keyboard. This is fun. Okay. <laughs> good. Good to know um, that it doesn't get better. Okay. Well, we're just on Twitch now. Um, here's hoping that works. Teach your name, please, from our names. Yeah, yeah. That sounds like a very straightforward process. Oh, kneeling hurts. Okay. So I'm going to be working on Charizard during the stream. Um, what am I doing? First, I'm going to measure and cut the belts for the breastplate. Then I am going to paint the breastplate with the same sparkle paint that the collar has. Then uh, dye and shape the belts while the breastplate is drying. That's the plan for the day. So, yeah. I'm going to get my dress form nurked. So, <laughs> So, I, I don't know if it's normal for the chat and the stream to be so incredibly delayed. I know when I've done Facebook streams, it's been delayed, but it seems really delayed right now. So, if I answer your questions like in five minutes late, sorry. I'm trying to figure this out. Alright, I'm getting my mannequin naked so that I don't have to worry about getting the costume messy while I'm working with leather. And you can see my other camera in the webcam. Such is life. Don't pay attention to chat. Oh, okay. Alright. I'll try not to pay attention to chat. 
It's going to be easier when I'm painting because I'll just be sitting and can look at my computer. But it's harder. Alright. Dress form is naked. Yeah, the triple platform. I mean, I had good intentions with the triple platform attempt. But it didn't work out. Okay, so here's my baby plate. Um, I've got the base coat of the pearlescent orange acrylic down. And I'm going to put on the sparkle layer, but first I'm going to measure the belts. So the back has these little pieces um, where Chicago screws go, and that's where I will be attaching the belts. I'm going to open up this window for me as well. That nice. Oh, come back! Okay, so anyway, I've got these little yeah, screws in there that will hold the leather strapping in place. So that's what we're going to do. First things first. I've got my leather strapping and I've got a punch holes in it that can fit over those things and usually I measure but since these aren't going to be visible holes I'm just kind of eyeballing it don't tell I buy all my leather at Tandy. Um, I get a teacher discount there, so it's really nice. Just taking the stickers off. Cut off the end. Boop. Uh, this thing that I use to cut my holes is called a crocodile. It's it actually really is called a crocodile. It's ridiculous. But it's a scrapbooking tool. I don't know if you can read right there, but it says, We are memory keepers. <laughs> so it's meant for, like, punching holes in paper, but it's boss enough to punch through leather. I almost got it confiscated through airport security once, and I was so sad. I was like, I promise it's not a weapon of mass destruction. It's just how I punch holes in leather. All right. So we're going to get these spoiled teachers. <laughs> Yeah, you know, our lives are easy. They give us so much free stuff. Da -na 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 -na. So I'm trying to get the screw in. And then it holds it on. Oops, I hit the camera. You can't take a croc on a plane. It's a crop, like C-R-O-P. That's like what it's called to scrapbook, cropping. It, I, I never really understood it. My mom used to be um, the uh, vice president of marketing for a scrapbooking company. So I know way more about scrapbooking than I ever even thought I wanted to. All right. So, that's going to be there. Is that too high? This is where I awkwardly try stuff on myself a lot. Just making sure the straps are at a good height. These are a little high, so I'm going to punch the holes a little bit lower. Well. I'm going to punch the holes higher so that it sticks lower. I'm going to lift up my webcam a little bit so you can see my face. Hey, I have a face. How do you get a title like that? Cropodile? I don't know. <laughs> or just crop. 
The stream is, the chat is so small. Can I zoom in on this? My mom's dream job. Um, she really liked it. So, I don't know about dream jobs, but she really liked it there for a while. Okay, alright. Whoa, too big. I made it so big the chat disappeared. Here we go. Alright. Now, rain, rain hurts. Who are you? So I know who I'm talking to. I like knowing who people are. Vice President of Scrap. Ain't that the truth? Oh, Randy! Hi! Now I know who you people are. It's all good. Uh, not this way. Cosplay lighting. Howdy! Oh, the delay in the stream is mostly disorienting to me, because I look up and I see myself ten seconds in the past. Better Twitch TV. Oh, I did- I just zoomed in on the screen, so I can read it now from where I'm standing here. So... But that is good to know. I'm all about browser extensions. Alright, here we go again. Punched new holes. Yeah, that will be better. I've got a mirror over here, if you can't see that. Um, I don't know. They're not quite symmetric. It's good on this side, it's too low on this side. Oh, I'll try that. Try refreshing. See what we get. My internet's way better now, so refreshing is not a risk of waiting a year. <laughs> okay. I need like a happy medium. Not sure you needed to get refreshed. Well, you know, I tried it anyway, and I think it worked. I'm now only like five seconds behind my past self. doesn't love punching leather. Actually, if you don't have one of these, punching leather is a huge pain. Downside of the crocodile is it doesn't work if you need to go farther toward the middle of the leather. Um, and super, super thick, like 9 ounce. Oh, what? No. Awkward. I don't take compliments well. Okay, we're almost there. We are almost there. I think I'm going to end up back where I started. I do that sometimes. Make a bunch of changes and then realize where you started was probably the best. Name sister? Yeah. 
Yep, that's probably gonna be best. Of course. Right where I started. Okay, so I need to repunch both of these. Sometimes you gotta try something new just to figure out that the old thing you had was just fine. You know? Yes, I stole... I stole Ren's cosplay name. That's how we met. We were at a con and she was like, hey! We have the same name. And I was like, that's impossible. No one has my name. But then it was true! Boom. Okay. Now we can start doing some stuff. My real, uh, well, you have to define real. My legal name is not Rena. Um, I do consider it a real name, but it is not my legal name. It is a derivative of my legal name, almost. It's the combination of my legal name and my favorite book character. nothing to write with. Hold, please. Using a water-soluble pen, because it'll come off when I dye these strips. Can't just leave us hanging? You want to know my legal name? That's, that's the question of real name and legal name. Um, a lot of people consider their legal names to be their real names, but real to me, I mean, a name is just a way of, I, oh, my favorite character, my favorite book character, her name's Enna. Her book is called Enna Burning. It's from a series by Shannon Hale. She won a Newbery honor, not the award, the honor, but it's still pretty sick. Um, yeah, so the, the Ren comes from my name, and Anna comes from Anna Burning, which is my favorite book character. Um, what was I talking about before? Oh, I was talking about how I define, uh, it's just called Anna Burning, is the name of the book. The book series is called Books of Bayern. I don't think I have any in my bedroom, because they're on display. They're way awesome. They're by Shannon Hale. They're fairy tale books. Um, but they really changed my life when I was a teenager. Um, before I was a cosplayer, I was a book reviewer. I actually reviewed books for publishers. And the very first book I ever got before it came out was a book by the author of these Anna Burning books. And it just had a profound impact on me. And the author is just one of the sweetest human beings in the whole entire world. Um, I met her several times. I actually ran a convention for her. So 
that before I even know, knew that nerd conventions were a thing, I ran book conventions, meaning just one. So the, the author's name is uh, Shannon Hale, and I helped run an event called ShanCon. And we had people come from out of state, which was cool. There were like 25 people at the whole convention, but I think I was like 17 or something when I organized that. So, what do you mean nerd? Have you seen my, li have you, I don't know if you've, you, I don't know if I have posted my license plate on my Facebook page, but the license plate on my car says nerdy. Like, you should not be offended. You've never been to a con? Why not? What is stopping you? You need to do the thing, because the thing is the best. Oh, well. That's fair. That's fair. But what was cool about my tiny little minicon is that I knew, like, all 25 people that were there. So, yeah, it was super tiny, but I literally knew every single person at the con. chill. <laughs> Why do you even... <laughs> like, okay, like, 56 plus different conventions, or like the same one multiple years? How many, like, separate conventions have you been to? I'm curious about that. <laughs> People can be stupid. Same ones multiple years. Woo! Dropping stuff. Uh, this okay, can you, can you name, no. No, we'll address that in a second. Um, can you can you name the states? I know you've been to a ton in Texas, and you've now been to some in Utah. What other states? Here's my duct tape. Painter's tape? Any kind of tape. Nope, oh, duct tape. When is the timeline for the Zelda group in Utah? You mean the Art Nouveau Zelda group? Um, goal was April, so that we could, uh, take pictures at, like, the Tulip Festival with all the PDs. <laughs> They've all been in Texas. Okay, so all Texas and now Utah. Yeah, Texas and California, I swear, have conventions every weekend. Come on, little buckle. There we go. I haven't started on mine either, and mine's supposed to be done in like 50 days. I have not been cosplaying for 10 years. No, 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 no. I'm almost to my five year anniversary. Almost. There we go. Okay. This will work. That is true. That is true. They are larger. Uh, Texas does seem to be convention mecca. It's like all the time. Cons. Just all the time. 
Okay, now I do need to measure because I'm going to be... See, here's the thing about RTX. I really want to go to RTX. But I don't love rooster teeth. I love ruby. So I feel like a cheater if I go to RTX. Because I'll be like, oh my gosh, I love like one little piece of this. And that's all. Oh, I made the chat go away again. Hold, please. Apparently I need to look into that add-on you mentioned with the chat thing. There we go. Okay, wait, I'm catching up. Uh, oh yeah, I guess it's just uh, you know, it's Con Mecca. Yes, by the way, me. I'm meaning to tell you about your sewing class. Yes! Okay, so here's here's my problem. Um, my friends all love... So I'm changing the camera angle because we're going to go down here on the ground. Um, my friends all love red versus blue. But I... I'm not a huge fan of profanity and from what I have seen of red versus blue it has quite a bit so that's that's me <laughs> yes look at my toesies um what else there's someone else yeah, I, I wouldn't go to a show or a con just for one show either. Um, Sakura Con, I've heard good things about. I've heard bad things about. I have a lot. There's a lot of people here local that go. That it just comes at a really bad time of year for me since I'm a teacher. Um, oh yes, there there was my feet showing. Fun fact: I am missing a toenail. This one. I'm also missing a fingernail. This one. I think I'm dying, but it's okay. I'm not sure at this point if they're ever coming back. Toenail's been gone for about three years. Fingernail, about seven months. What you gonna do? Inch and a half. That's not right. That's not an inch and a half, that's an inch and a quarter. Half of an inch and a quarter is five eighths. There we go. Certain group of cosplay friends were going to PAX West. Would you want an invite? Is PAX, um, is that video games? I feel like PAX is video games. Alright, now I'm doing something that involves looking down, so... If you want to make sure you mark something in the center, always mark it from both sides. Then the space between is the center. So, even though I was a little off each time, there you go. Penny, oh yeah, it is! Okay. Um... <laughs> that my nails are missing? I know, I know, it's weird. Um, late August, early September. Late August, early September is hard for me because that's right when school starts. Um, it's one of the reasons I didn't go back to Nondescon this year, even though Nondescon in the past has been my favorite convention, because it's just too hard to go right when school is starting. Just like SoccerCon is hard because it's always like the week right before spring break. 
If it were ever actually on spring break, I might be able to do it. But it always misses by just that much. Mm, I do like video games. I like video games a lot. Alright, how long is this space? Here. To the end, I've got four and a half inches to play with. If I draw it in half an inch from the edge. One, two, three. Should I do them um, every three quarters of an inch? Oh my gosh, I love my Switch so much. Like, you don't even know. It's the greatest thing, especially ever since Skyrim came out. I just love that I can carry Skyrim around in my purse. Like, who doesn't want that in their life? And if they don't, what is wrong with them? would twer that I had that purse. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the thing about NDK, is they're so nice in Colorado. Like, maybe they have drama that I don't see, but some of my favorite people in the whole world are Colorado people. They are just amazing. Um, I did not beat the Fire Emblem game. Mostly because I got distracted by Skyrim coming out. I've been wanting to play Skyrim for about a year now, and I've been waiting. Um, I think he means Fire Emblem Warriors, because that's the one that came out on the Switch. Um, other than you, yes. I didn't say every person, I just said a lot. Or did I say every person? I didn't mean to. Um, no, I haven't beaten Fire Emblem Warriors. So, too, so much Fire Emblem this year. We got Heroes, Warriors, and Echoes. I did beat Echoes, but I didn't do the after the main quest stuff. I have not beaten Warriors because I got distracted by Skyrim. And I still log into Heroes every day just to collect orbs. Um, <laughs> But I've been wanting to play Skyrim for like a year, and I've been waiting for the Switch version to come out, because I didn't want to... Because the only other places I have it are on my computer, and I have it on my Xbox 360. And I wanted to do the remastered version, but my computer really struggled to load the remastered version. So I just decided to wait for the Switch one. So I have this like pent up longing to play Skyrim. So as soon as it came out, I like barricaded myself. And I, I play it every day. Don't play Skyrim before bed. It's very dangerous. Well, I've played Skyrim before again. Hi, <gasps> Ginger Um, I played Skyrim before, but I was, I was itching for a new playthrough. Um, and I didn't, I didn't want to start a new playthrough and then have the one on the Switch come out and have to start over again. So I've just been like, you know, messing around on my old playthrough waiting for the Switch one to come out. But I wanted to totally change my character and stuff. So, okay, I got my holes. I'm gonna go rinse this off. Yeah, that, that was funny. I had a lot of people make fun of me when I bought Skyrim when it first came out, like, for the Switch. Because I, I paid full price for it. I got a discount for being an Amazon Prime member, but it was still like 55 bucks. And people were like, you understand that you just paid $55 for a game that's been out for six years. And I was like, worth it. So worth it. Dude! Do the Zan thing! Because then we can do things together. Yes, exactly. I wanted to play a new character. I love my old character. It was a Khajiit, leader of the Dark Brotherhood, uh, master of the Thieves Guild, but I wanted to try something totally different. I'm trying to go almost pure magic playthrough. So, because everyone told me magic playthrough sucked, so I wanted to experience it for myself. I just realized my computer's unplugged. That could be bad. Mm hmm? Back on the floor. 
Yes, my new character is a high elf. I'm being too lazy to go to the bathroom to get water, so I'm using my water bottle. So, the marks go away with water, which is why I used it. Yes, my new character is an Altmer. Um, she perpetually looks like she's pissed off, but I think that's just what high elves look like. She's not super strong yet. I think I'm like, I don't know what level I am. Now I want to check. We're pausing to check what level I am. It's going to be upside down for you. Sorry. I am level 16. If you can see that. The glare. I don't know how to stream from the Switch. Otherwise, I'd stream my Skyrim playthroughs. Um, I know how to stream games on the computer. But I do not know how on the Switch. Hmm. Are you go- you're going to... HDMI capture card? I will look into this. Um. Are you going to 3D print his armor, Ren? All oh, right, we have the cross strap done for the most part. Come on back up, camera times. Whee! <laughs> Down. Back. You're crooked. Hmm. This item cost you this? Uh, you mean a gajinka? Um. Fisher in the dock. That makes sense. So you would dock it in. Um. I actually did 3D print Zant's armor. That was my very first adventure in 3D printing. Did not go well and was actually the reason I abandoned the project. <sighs> Alright. Now we are doing the top straps. So yeah, this this is called yeah, good Gajinka. Where you take a Pokemon and you turn it into a person. I think it I I don't know where the term originated, but I know it applies to things other than Pokemon. So usually when people say Gajinka, they're meaning a Pokemon, but it doesn't have to. Uh, a Gajinka, I believe, is anything that is humanized. Okay. So. No, I'm much better at printing, um, because... Back then, I mean, we didn't know what we were doing. We had a really terrible printer. Um, this is just falling off. Cool. We had a really terrible printer. We didn't know what we were doing. There was a lot working against us. Whereas, um, since I discovered Inventor, I feel a lot better about 3D printing because Inventor is math based. Sculptress and Blender just drove me crazy because of how, um, I don't know, loose they were? They just didn't, I like that I can just do the math and make it precise. You know, math is fun. 
Alright. Bye, Randy. Thanks. So far, our streaming is way more fun than just normal crafting. So, I'm all about this. What's that? I don't know. Okay. So, we are just going to cut this strip in half. Excellent. Hmm. I, I have Fusion 360, so I'll have to try it. Because I got the whole Autodesk package. Ugh. The only downside is, um, since I have a Mac, it's hard to uh, use Autodesk because most but not all of their programs are PC only. So I do, I have them downloaded on my work computer so I have access to them but it just, they just, it's annoying to have it on my work computer. Ready printing more? Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to. Um, uh, Impa's prop that I'll be working on next is almost entirely 3D printed and I really enjoyed working on that. Okay, we got both the straps belted on. Come on up. up, 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 up. Okay, time to figure this out. So, based on the artwork, these straps are supposed to cross there and go onto the straps like this. Which I think I can do. Pretty sure. I bought really thin straps so that that could be possible. I need my marker pen. Stay. Oh, you meant streaming. Yeah! Yes, I am enjoying streaming. I do. <laughs> I do need to work on finishing my sentences. No, I just gotta... It, it bugs me that... I can't watch the chat from my streaming app. Yeah, I'm just, I'm on a laptop, not a desktop, and my room isn't very big, so I'm not loving the idea of taking up more space with another monitor, but there you go. Okay, so, considering having them cross here. <laughs> you, you have a fair point. <laughs> oh, I wonder if I could use my TV as a dual monitor. I probably could. Oh, hey, we're going to have to think about this. Especially since because I have a Mac and I have Apple TV, I can just AirPlay, possibly. 
This could be a thing. We could be on to something. Now, where did I put my tape? There it is. <laughs> it's funny, I grew up very, very, very PC, not politically correct, as in, like, personal computer. Um, definitely did not grow up politically correct. Um, and then, the only reason I have a Mac is because I had the same PC from 2009 to... 2015 and oh bye Ren um, I had the same computer from 2009 to 2015 and by the time 2015 came around my computer was a piece of crap and okay um, and my mom gave me her Mac And she gave me that in 2015, and I've been using it ever since, and I really like it. Like, I don't like it more than PC, nor do I like PC more than Mac. If you assumed I was super PC, you mean politically correct? I am more now. I just wasn't raised that way. <laughs> um, my father is very frustrated by political correctness. He believes it's like holding us back. I don't know what it's holding us back from. But there you go. And I mean, I do think the term political correctness has also been warped a lot. A lot of people confuse political correctness with basic human decency. Um, So, there you go. Ah. Use tape to hold my leather together until I'm ready to poke holes in it. But all growing up, my dad owned a um, PC gaming store. So I grew up playing Age of Empires and StarCraft and the original Warcraft before it was War of, World, World of, I can words. This is kind of hard to do to yourself. But I'm going to figure it out. I'm a smart person. Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to undo it up in the front, and then do it up in the back, and then redo it in the front. Yeah, I'm, I'm a thinker. I'm a thinker. <sighs> this screw is longer. All right. Here we go. So now I can do this. Slide that one onto there. And slide that one onto there. Buckle that down. Spin it around. Alright, and then we'll lift these up over the shoulders. Dropped frames and stuttering. Also, the cameras are a little desynced. These are things I have no idea how to fix. I can see that they are desynchronized, though. That I can see even on my end. Come here, little buddy. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Next time I stream, I think um, one of the reasons I was using XSplit is because it can stream to multiple platforms. And since, you just get this close up on my boobs on the other camera. Um, since I don't think that's something I'm going to do again, I'll probably go to OBS. Because it's free. <laughs> That should work. They're on. It's on. I don't know. Don't know what the phraseology is there. But. You should probably see where it sits in respect to the. I don't have anything else open except the internet. I have the internet and I have the broadcasting software open. End of list. I think we'll be okay. Alright. You now have... Oh! <laughs> I know. Um, gotta love female armor. And all it's sense making. Except I had this custom designed. So, I can't even complain. This is what I wanted. Because <laughs> I told her to make it look like Fire Emblem, and Fire Emblem is all about just protecting the sexy time parts. Actually, that's not true. Fire Emblem has a lot of fully armored women. It's one of the things I really respect about the franchise. Okay. So, let's punch some holes. Right. We're going back down on the ground. Wee! Feet again. Pin. tape did do some damage to the leather, which I was expecting, but again, I am phoning it in a little bit on this costume since it's just for giggles, <laughs> not being as careful as I should. Usually you should not put duct tape on leather, you know, crazy thought, but it's actually a really bad idea. I mean, it's not, it didn't like ruin it, it's still leather, but it did leave a texture. Okay, so this is where I'm going to fold it. So I'm going to punch a hole right here. Can I get through both layers? Yes. This I do want to measure. No, it's duct tape. It was the only tape that was close enough. No, and I know how stupid that was. 
Believe me, I do. I just like living on the edge, she lied. Cool, we have a hole. Punching holes in stuff. Are, am I on a break from work yet? How do you mean? Like my job work? No, it's just Saturday. My next break, the last day of school before Christmas break is the 20th. I have to go to school on the 20th, but then I don't. Make it until then. I'm excited for it. I'm always excited to not have to go to work. If we're being completely honest. I mean, I, I do like my job. I am grateful. It is what I wanted to do with my life. It is what I do do with my life. Um, but you know, like any job, it's still a job. I'm so deep. Gotta love this rhombus. Marking the center of the rhombus. The middle. Yep, on a Wednesday. Half day Wednesday. It's so that we can say that we had the proper amount of school days, even though, you know, I fully anticipate many, many, many of my students just not coming. And I'm like, oh, gee darn it. <laughs> Shoulder straps. Oops. My last costume of the year. Um, I'm technically considering this to be a 2018 costume since it's going to debut at the end of January. Um, my last costume of 2017, I guess, then would have been Christmas Jupiter that I wore yesterday.
so like in my folder on my computer where I organize costumes, this is in Cosplay 2018. got my four different straps that I needed. And oh, thanks. <laughs> if you look at it too close, it doesn't look as amazing. You know, I'm I'm going to try something. Um I could totally screw this up. But I want to try it. I actually kind of like how the duct tape leather parts look. They're kind of weathered coolly. Um, and the marks are already there, so I'm going to try putting duct tape across the whole strip of leather. And see what that does. I'm just experimenting. These belts were cheap. I'll just do it with one. See what happens. Most of my great ideas come from me trying things that sounded like terrible ideas. Rip leather, I know. I have a lot more. It's all good. I mean, I guess it is kind of wasteful. But like I said, it looks cool. I like the... It's got kind of like a um, scaly effect, which is why I like it for Charizard. So, I'm just going to try it. I'm just going to try it. It might be crazy, but... I don't think I left it on long enough. It didn't do anything. It's just distressing. Haha, <laughs> in more ways than one. Stop coming. There we go. Yeah, I think that's cool. It got like this. You won't be able to see that because my white balance is weird. But it got like this cool scaly texture. I like that a lot. I'm going to do that to all the pieces. Live it on edge. <laughs> I mean, when you think about all the stuff we do to leather, this is not the worst thing. I mean, you can fill in the blanks. That's a fun sound. No time to rip it off. This part's fun. Yeah. I like that. It's subtle. 
Squishing it on. Oh yes, yes, you were gonna tell me about your sewing class. Yes, yes, yes. Planning on dyeing the leather? Yes. So I'm interested to see what that does to it, because a lot of times adhesives mess with how leather dies. But again, if they totally get screwed up, I'll do it again. I have a lot of leather. <laughs> oh no! Why not? Did you do it from like a, a place or a person? Fabric land. I've never heard of fabric land. Oh. That is... That is valid. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Just, just stepping into any situation is the hardest part. Okay, I'm gonna go get my leather conditioner. BRB. Oh. Well, I mean, it, it can be. <laughs> but you do get better at it. It does, I mean, it's, it's fine detail work all the time. So it is kind of mentally exhausting. That's why I like taking a break to do props and armor. But then I always want to go back to sewing. <laughs> Yeah, there, there are. But the thing is, you don't learn them all at once. Um, there are a hundred different things to learn about sewing, but you take them one at a time. And I wonder if the class was just trying to show you all of them <laughs> at once. <laughs> Which, yes, would probably be a little overwhelming. Oh, I forgot to cut the end of this. That'll do. Yeah. Um, reading patterns is hard and super necessary. Like, I remember when I first started, the very first cosplay thing I ever made was a shirt. And it was my very first time ever making any kind of clothing. And I remember reading the pattern and just being like, what the heck? And having no idea what the instructions were trying to tell me and my grandma had always been the one who taught me how to sew so I called her and I was like grandma what's a placket 
and I was trying to ask her all these questions, and she didn't know what it meant, and I was like, if you don't know what it means, how am I supposed to? But you do, you do get used to it. It requires a, a lot of Googling. Crap ton of Googling. <laughs> there are several different kinds of plackets. They don't happen in every shirt, so it's not something you absolutely need to know. It sounds painful. It's not. It's just a way of folding fabric. I think I should be playing music or something. Oh. Can you, like, have a do-over? Can you go back to them? Do you want to? <laughs> I usually listen to something or watch something while I'm crafting, but I also don't usually have people watching me craft, so... I mean, that's what I do with traditional art. I tried to draw Charizard myself, and it was a hot mess. And so I just decided that I would support some artist by paying them. And she turned out to be awesome. Um, I, I am a firm believer that you can do anything you put your mind to, but sometimes putting your mind to stuff takes a lot out of you. And so, it, you just got to decide if it's worth it. <laughs> like, I don't really want to spend hours learning to draw or ice skate or whatever. But pretty much everything in the world you can learn to do. There are very few rare exceptions that require natural gifts, and usually those who are naturally gifted will always be better than you. 
but just because someone's better than you doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. Um, it's, I mean, it's interesting because most people can't math their way out of a paper bag, so you've got that. Um, <laughs> yes, a lot of people do say math is the worst thing since Hitler. They like to tell me that a lot. Not that specific example, but they like to tell me how much they hate it. But there have been studies done that say that show that having a math brain is not a thing. Like, there's not some people who are just wired for math. Today, I was disappointed. My younger brother, he pulls out his phone. He's in college. He's a freshman in college. He pulls out his phone and shows me a formula, and he goes, What is this formula? What? It looks so familiar, but I don't know what it is. And it was the quadratic formula. And I'm like, bro, how you forget the quadratic formula? And he was like, what's it for? And I was like, factoring quadratics. And I was, I was disappointed in him. He's a computer science major. Come on. All right. Um, I'm going to let the conditioner on the leather dry while we start painting this guy. So I'm going to resituate. I know, right? Bruh, dude. Quadratic formula. You're 18. You should know this. Ow! Kick my dress form. It's fine. Shifting stuff around. Giving you a view of my butt. Right. We are going to be painting on this table. No, it wasn't. It wasn't comfortable. So, here we go. This is my painting table. Right here. There she goes. Mm. Have a breastplate. I've got all my many bags of supplies. I got paper towels. And I think that's all I need for now. Answer. Yes. Reposition some stuff. Can I scoot you over this way? Get in. Back it up. Finish. Um, this is upside down. I'm gonna turn it around. There you go. What would you do? Would you want to do cosplay to make a living? <sighs> totally depends on what you mean by make a living. Like, like what, what I'd have to do. Like, if I could make a living off of ad revenue or something, 
Yeah, I know, I know what you mean by make a living, but it's the what I would have to do that matters. So, like, because there are some cosplayers who make a living by making stuff that they then sell. And that's not what I want to do. Um, I would never want to do that, sell stuff. Um, not with the purpose of making a living wage. Um, but if I reached a point where I could make enough money off ad revenue, sponsorships, then sure. But uh, that that never will happen. Okay, explain explain what you meant, because I'm, I'm missing it. While I get out my supplies. Creating your stuff. Yeah. Yeah. If I could do that and make money, sure. But um, I one of the reasons I don't think I'll ever reach that point is I, I just... I don't really feel comfortable charging for things. Um, like, I know a lot of people have Patreons, and I have nothing against Patreon, but I, I want my tutorials to be available to everyone for free. Um, so I've never considered making a Patreon because I don't want people to have to pay. I, it would be cool if people wanted to pay for them. So, like, I can imagine maybe someday having, like, a donate thing. But I'd always want to offer the majority of my stuff for free. The only way that I would offer it for not free is if it cost me money for some reason. Like, um, Kamui and her books. She has to pay the printing costs for the books, so it makes sense that she would charge for the books. Yeah, I'm not really, I mean, I'm, I'm not on Patreon as of uh, either respect. I don't pay for stuff, nor do I ask to be paid for stuff. So I'm not 100% sure how it works. I mean, I get how it works. But, um, but I, know, I know a lot of people don't eventually give it out to everyone. Um, I've seen a lot of cosplayers who will do photo shoots and they'll be like, these pictures will only be posted on my Patreon. Now, of course, someone could screen grab them and take them somewhere else, but... I'm taping off the brim mostly because the glitter paint has a very distinct texture. So it's hard to paint over.
This is so exciting. I need music. I need something. I need to clean up my floor. The breastplate is um, Warbla, Foam, and PVC. Here we go. This is primarily nerdy music. And now there's some noise. Needs to be a little bit lower in my chair. I'm just working the chair down, is what's happening right now. Yeah, so it's uh, foam covered in warbla, then painted with resin. Um, then the raised details and the border are PVC. about you, you can go get food that's allowed Okay. 
pizza's good. I don't eat pizza a lot because I, uh, within the last few years, developed an allergy to dairy, which is just awesome. But I still occasionally indulge in pizza because I love cheese. Cheese is really good, so even though it makes me sick, I still eat it. I gave up like everything else, milk, ice cream, but cheese, cheese and I have a special relationship. I can't decide if I need to mask these. I don't think so. I think I can get away without masking those if I'm careful. I use this brush. No, I should mask them, to be safe. Take a turn by time To the good old days Us to sleep We're stressed out To the good old days <laughs> Exactly, that's why I Thought better of it Okay. No, I'm, you've got me in suspense. Something you can see. Oh, that is very good to know. That is very good to know. YouTube does that too. Um, I am hopefully saving this recording to my desktop, so. I'd still have it, but... Yeah, I don't usually listen to music while I craft. I listen to books, audiobooks. But I feel like that would be weird to do during a stream. Like, welcome to halfway through this book. Hmm. These little curly cues are really annoying to tape. It better be worth it! you were going to say something like, we can see your social security number in the background. So, <laughs> eh, 
I don't, I don't want to listen just for the sake of listening to music. I like listening to my songs. I'm going to risk it with these little curly cubes because this is going to take a year. <laughs> you wouldn't have prefaced. <laughs> That's like I have a friend who um, she won a prize in a costume contest recently. And she posted a picture on Instagram of her prize. And one of her prizes was a, a gift card to Epic Cosplay Wigs. And her picture had the gift code on it. So I sent her a message and I was like, honey, stop! Okay, now I'm going to mix my sparkle paint. So this one's all dried and congealed. Probably should clean it out, but I don't want to. I'm not, not going to take the time to clean that out. Okay, so this is the most important part of this process. Um, it's leather paint because I'm applying this same technique to the piece on her neck and wrists. Yes. Oh, yes, that viral tweet of the person who posted the credit card. But So this is the most important um, piece because it's neutral, meaning it's actually clear. It's white ish when it's in the bottle but it dries clear kind of like Elmer's glue so what we do is we take some of this dun -dun 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 -dun, and we pour it into this little jar um and then this is glitter in here we're gonna add a generous amount dun -dun 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 and then we're going to start up with this brush because it's mostly garbage. Da, 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 da. Turns into this pasty nonsense. Okay. Now we are going to start painting Sparkle Madness onto the breastplate. So we're going to use mostly these three brushes. The, with the glitter stuff? Yeah! And it worked! So, hey! Because you can buy powders to mix with this to change it colors and to make it sparkly, but none of the powders were sparkly enough. So I was like, well, if you can mix sparkle powder in it, can't you just mix sparkles? And the answer is yes. Um, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to need this over here and this over here. So, can you explain how that happened? Yeah, I just, I, I was desperate. I had tried 12 million things. This was the closest paint I was able to come to that I liked. And it's, my fabric for Charizard is so iridescent and color changing that even this pearly orange just looked dull in comparison. So I was like, I need something crazy. And it had to be something that worked on both Warbla and leather, which is a small list. Now you'll notice it's not super thick. So what I actually do is I use this, but then I also just take some of the glitter and sprinkle it on directly. And then I paint it around. The key is just to make sure that you use good strokes and smooth it out, otherwise it will get clumpy. Someone on Instagram told me that they did the same thing with Mod Podge, but it came out super clumpy. So she was like, this is a good idea to use leather paint. And I was like, oh good, I'm glad this is a real thing. Not something I just made up. I mean, it's cool to make stuff up, but it's it's also nice to have it validated that you're not totally crazy for doing it. Like I said, it's kind of dull now, 
but this whitish paint will dry clear and then we will get a full-on sparkle. Okay, I need a little baby brush. My computer's running low on storage space. <laughs> so, probably gonna... So I assume that means it is saving this stream and is struggling to do so. My Netflix, it's uh, it's been all right. Uh, I guess on Netflix I've been watching Tiger and Bunny. Um, I've been watching Hulu a little bit more recently, mostly because I was watching Dancing with the Stars, which is on Hulu, and uh, Modern Family, which is on Hulu. I've been doing more Hulu than Netflix recently. But both are good. So, Stranger Things, uh, my family is insisting on watching together? But I don't live with them. Two of us do not live at home. My brother and I do not live at home. So we're watching it very slowly, which is frustrating. But the internet has actually done a pretty good job of not spoiling things. Uh, I mean, there are, there are like meme things that get spoiled. But nothing super critical. I really like watching TV with my family, so I don't mind. I usually go over like once a week to watch something. My mom and I watched Project Runway together this season. It was not a very good season, but I enjoyed watching it with her. It was hard because we made this grand master plan to watch it over Halloween and then my parents at the last minute got this great opportunity to go to Paris over Halloween and so I mean I wasn't gonna stop them from going to Paris so I could watch a TV show.
<laughs> they liked it. Um, I mean, it's not like if I watched it without them, they disowned me or anything. They just want family bonding time, especially now that two of us don't live at home anymore. Gotta find excuses to go over. Actually, I don't, because my dog lives over there, because I can't have dogs in my apartment. So I don't usually need an excuse to go home and see my dog. When did my Apple TV turn on? I don't remember turning the TV on. It just understands us. It hurt us talking about television. Welcome, our <laughs> And this doesn't actually require that much glitter. This is the extra fine glitter, though, in case you wanted to try this on your own. I feel like that's why it's working. It's because it's really fine powder. Sparkly. Oh, really? I apparently look like a lot of people. People tell me all the time that I look like this person or that person. Or and I'm like, okay. Usually not famous people. Usually just random people. That's fun. And you're an only child. universe going on right there. I am not an only child, but I am substantially older than my siblings. I was an only child for eight years. It's a number. I mean, one of them, so I'm eight years older than one of my brothers and 11 years older than the other of my brothers. I feel like typically people are like max four years apart. I 
think this side is done. Get some more in the crack. Stop it. Uh, I'm painting them gold. So I will hand paint those gold after all of this is said and done. No, they're, they're just gold. So they're shiny, but they're not sparkly. If the whole thing were sparkly, that would probably be pretty cool, actually, but also a little flash dance. Woo! <laughs> I was already a little worried that just having the orange sparkles would be a little much. Don't need to upgrade it to be every sparkle ever. Secret of Nim. Oh, I have not seen that show in probably 15 years. I remember loving it as a kid. this side is starting to, the glue, the paint is starting to dry, so it's starting to become clearer sparkles. Whereas over here they're kind of dull. If you can see the difference. This one's drying. It's true. It's true. There's a lot. There's a lot in Nim that uh, children either don't get or are traumatized by. I was a little bit of both. My gosh, Don Bluth is—he's good stuff. And I feel way bad that he's had some tough breaks in his life. 
Not enough people know about Titan AE, for one. Because it came out at the same time as Remember the Titans? And so, people went to go see the Titan movie. And they went to the wrong one! I mean, not that Remember the Titans isn't good, but Titan AE is a masterpiece. I adore. It doesn't help that the DVD art for Titan AE is ugly. Ugly. I'm like, did you want this movie to fail? I assume that's Stefan. I don't know, or is it which one of you runs your Twitch? It's very confusing. The crack brain is like five people, four people? Nathan Lane is what he is. I think. If that's the character I'm thinking of. Oh! Hey! Yeah, because it's you, Candace, Brandon, and... Tyler? Is Tyler your fourth person? I feel like I need to refocus my camera. Worse. Better? Yes. I have to have text in order to be able to focus cameras. Or I can't tell if they're focused. Ooh, this side is pretty much done. And look how sparkly. This side is still drying. So it's not quite. Yay! Okay, I got them all. I, it's, it was hard, I couldn't tell if Tyler was part of the team, or if he's just always with Candace. <laughs> Makes sense, though, that he's part of the team. It's a pretty cool team. It's not fluorescent, it's iridescent. <laughs> fluorescent is like neon. This is iridescent. I'll grab a piece in a second. I'm almost done. Just gotta get inside these swirly bits. Oh, I thought that said because you were plastered. And I was like, why are you plastered? It's... 
It's five o'clock somewhere. It's almost five o'clock here. We're getting there. Time flies. Get on your stick. Oh, hello! Hello from the land down under. Hello to the land down under. I'm not, I'm not down under. But I have friends who are, well, they live in New Zealand. So. Ish. I love your username, Sparkdos. That's good stuff. I know. It's like when I teach my students about acute triangles and they make a ton of jokes about how the triangle is cute. And I'm like, stop. Stop making that joke. Or when some, like, sometimes when I play music I'll use Pandora in my classroom. Usually I play my own playlist, but like for Christmas music, I don't have a Christmas music playlist, so I use Pandora. And every time an ad comes on, there's got to be some student who says, This is my favorite song. And I'm like, ha 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 ha. You're so funny and original. Now I have that song stuck in my head. Thanks a lot, Zach. Okay, I'm missing spots. Yeah, most people find me through Midna. Blah. Well, a lot of them do that too. Ooh. Yeah, there, there. When I made Midna, there were not a lot of tutorials out there in the world. same person. Yeah, when I did Midna there were not a ton I mean there were there were like 
Midna cosplayers, but none of them really shared. Not like they were selfish. Just, I didn't think about it. And so the whole time I was making it, I was like, I'm gonna document this, because she's a popular character. That was my first, one of my very first costumes. Um, so much glitter. Woo. I mean, it could have been. So much glitter. It's on my phone. I mean, I guess I just feel like there's a lot because I know, like, half of them at this point. When you all cosplay the same character, you tend to get to know each other. Um, I'm showing you an example of my iridescent fabric. While getting sparkles everywhere! Yeah, that's how I feel about my midnight too. She was my first... She was my first costume that I didn't look back on and be like, ugh! So, this is the fabric. And that's what I mean by iridescent, is it's really color changey. It'll be gold and orange and red. So... That's why I needed the paint job to be really dynamic. Because the fabric is already really dynamic. Like you can see this orange looks boring next to this. So that's why I needed something crazy for the paint job. Okay. Um, we are waiting for this to dry now. So time to get back to working on leather. So let me clean off this space. I'm going to move this over here to dry. I lost the lid to this thing, but I'm afraid to take the lid off the sparkles because if the sparkles spill, it's going to be a bad day. So just put those over there for now. Alright, I'm going to go clean off, whoa, it's raining sparkles. I'm gonna go clean off my brushes. BRB. Luckily, this uh, leather paint, it does a really great job of holding on to the glitter. And I am going to go over it with a second coat of the clear, just the clear leather paint without any sparkles added. And then I am going to do a spray on top coat. So, it doesn't shed very much for glitter. Like, I mean, I can show you with um, the other one I've done. with this piece, like if I scratch at it, it doesn't, doesn't come off. So that's what's really nice and it stays flexible because it's leather paint so I can't actually put it on right now because it's sealed closed and I don't want to open it. Okay, we are going to bevel and slick the edges of our leather belt. belts. Um, where's my Okay, excellent. Here we go. Okay. So, edge beveler bevels the edge <laughs> of leather. 
super creative name. Zach no longer exists. Really? Like you had split personality? And you finally got over it? I'm still not over mine. Ha ha. Ha ha. How come they look like they're in the center on this side? But they don't on that side. a little bit off. <laughs> I, I understand that feel. And I'm gonna slick the edges. Don't know why I felt the need to sing that. Done plastering! Woohoo! <laughs> I make it sound like a threat. <laughs> That's me, I'm vicious. Always threatening people. Actually, I was a very angry child and threatened a lot of people. I even sent one girl to the hospital. I threw a, a hammer at her head and the pointy part on the back. Well, I just threw a hammer at her. I didn't even, I don't think I mean meant to hit her. Just was trying to, you know, she was bugging me. I was eight years old. I was angry. Um, and the, the pointy end for taking out nails hit her right in the middle of the forehead and she had to go to the hospital. Oops. And I was like 20 feet away. Like, that was a good shot. I regret my actions. But she was fine. <laughs> As a youth, I had many anger issues. I'm glad to say that I am over pretty much all of them. Simple, yes, exactly. You know, she's fine. She's alive. What? Actually, I have no idea what happened to her, nor do I remember her name. She was just the girl who lived next door to my cousin. Because I was at my cousin's house when I did it. Be a claw hammer. <laughs> I remember my parents making me go over to apologize and she was just this bandaged mess. I don't know if it was as bad as my brain remembers it being. I feel like if it were really that bad, like, police would have been involved. <laughs> That's 
twisted. <laughs> but again, I was eight. I could, I, my memory could be inflating things. I don't remember a ton from my youth. Spark Dose, if you're still there, what part of Australia are you from? I mean, I was still a functioning angry person, but I do like being a not angry person more. It's just easier. <laughs> And it's hard to be an angry person when you're a teacher. If you're a naturally angry person and a teacher, you're gonna struggle. <laughs> Because there are some dumb, dumb children in the world. And I don't mean like, can't do math, dumb. I mean, why did you feel the need to do that, dumb? It's the only thing I ever imagined myself doing, teaching. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't like have a, pl I can't even, I can't even get these sparkles off my hand. They're just, I'm permanently a unicorn. It's chill. I always knew I was going to be a teacher. I didn't realize until I was a junior in high school that I wanted to be a math teacher, but I always knew I was going to be a teacher. punch more holes in here. Just one more. I teach a uh, ninth grade, which is fourteen turning fifteen. For two years I taught 15 turning 16, and then now for two years I've taught 14 turning 15. Alright, one belt in. I think I want to clip the corners though. Uh oh. I get asked that a lot, so I don't know if it was you who asked or somebody else who asked. Eighth graders are worse, significantly. So, pros and cons, pros and cons. This folds in half. This can go as far out as there. There. As far out as there. As far in.
Sorry, just talking to myself. Don't mind me. These edges aren't visible, so I'm not being super careful with making them symmetric. Oh. I remember ninth grade being awful. Teaching ninth graders is not that bad. Being a ninth grader is very hard. This is a hard time of life. I mean, you're still just trying to figure out how to be a person. When you get into ninth grade, you, you really stop being... bothers me how not symmetric that is. You really stop being a kid. and you But you're not an adult. And you've already been a teenager for a while, but you're not a kid anymore. What do I get on pizza? I like spinach and chicken. That's what I get on pizza. <laughs> the... Warbler for the first time. Okay. Y um, yes and no. Uh, first of all, I do not recommend um, getting normal warbler, brown warbler. It is the hardest to work with, um, and they've made a lot of really good changes since then. I have only worked with brown warbler because I have a ton that I'm trying to use up. But black warbler is supposed to be smoother, much smoother, and uh, pearl warbler, which I think is fairly new, is supposed to be even better. Um, tips for warbler, though, I recommend having a base. Um, I mean, it's not the only thing I get on pizza, but if I get to choose, that's what I choose. Um, I feel like anyone watching this later who doesn't have the chat is just going to be like, what's happening? Um, but Warbler, back to Warbler. Uh, you're going to need to do a lot of work to smooth it out. And that's one of the reasons I don't like to use it very much, is PVC does pretty much everything Warbler does, and it doesn't require being smooth. But, again, Black Warbler and Pearly Warbler don't need to be smoothed as much either. But, to smooth it, you'll need either a filler primer or Bondo putty or, um, come on brain, resin. All of those things work for smoothing it. And you just got to smooth the crap out of it. And I recommend putting it over a base of something else. I always put mine over foam um, just to give it some rigidity because Warbler is so malleable that if you don't have a base under it, um, you can lose control of it really easily and then just end up with a with a mess. Do not leave Warbler in a hot car. Don't do it. It's a really bad idea. I left a whole roll of Warbler in a hot car once, rolled, and I came out and it had melted onto my car seat. I was able to get it all off, but the roll of Warbler is pretty much only good for sculpting now. Um, but I don't have a ton of warbler advice because I usually only use it for small things. I use it a lot for adhesive. I'll put it um, on like the backs of things to hold them together. But only this breastplate and Katria's breastplate did you want to see the melted warbler? Because I actually have it 
just over there. I could go get it. <laughs> I've cut off most of the usable parts. Okay, I'll go grab it. lives in the basement. It's just coincidence that it's here right now. But that my pen. That is Warbler that you leave on a car. For some reason my computer is not plugged in. So this is actually um, the seat belt. It had melted around the seat belt and I had to rip it off the seat belt. And it's all it's doubled over unintentionally and it's ripped but that is Warbler left in the car. Alright, hang up. For some reason my computer is not charging. I don't know why. entertaining when I discovered it. What is your little icon? Does it say dry? I can't read it. Oh, that's fun. So yeah, I'm afraid I'm not the best advice for Warbla, since my advice would probably be, do you really have to use it? But I also haven't tried Black or Pearl, so those could be way better. That's cool. I'll have to look at that. Part of me wants to try game streaming, but another part of me is uh, afraid of trolls because, you know, I, I'm not at all a competitive or aggressive gamer. I play just for fun. Um, I'm not that good, but I still have fun. And I'd just be afraid of, you know, people making fun of me. People can be jerks. I mean, not that it would really bother me. You have a thing for that. I have the confidence to not be bothered by <laughs> trolls. But it would just be annoying. This camera's not even doing anything. So I just tilt it up like this, and you can see me holding it. 
a link and munition. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> nice. That's that's classy. <laughs> also, eh, I I mean like, I, like profanity is a thing in the world. I'm not going to get mad at you for posting it. I just, you know, avoid it when I can. Most of my friends swear, like, I'm not going to condemn you. And reading it doesn't bother me as much as hearing it. Most of my friends know that, and they try to rain themselves in when they're around me. This thing? Um, that is a, uh, seam gauge. So, it, you move this little, here, I'll tilt it back down. You move this little slider and it makes it so that you line up the slider and can make precise measurements all the way along something without having to like check the ruler every single time. So that's what it is. It's a seam gauge. They're awesome. But yeah, I uh, grew up with an English major mom who just taught me that well, that profanity wasn't good and that we should find other ways to express our displeasure. So I instead have a very big vocabulary and can insult people without them realizing that's what I'm doing. <laughs> but yes, seam gauges are definitely something you should have in your collection if you make stuff. I mean, a ruler does the same thing. This just makes it easier because then you don't have to line it up every single time. You just move the little slider. Well, let me tilt this back up. And it's chill you didn't know damage because, I mean, it's not like I go around wearing a shirt that says, like, I hate profanity. <laughs> that would be pretentious. Oh, see, and that's, I also come from a family of readers, very much readers. <sighs> I want to get you that shirt now. <laughs> it should have, like, asterisk, 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 profanity. <laughs> then it would be ironic. my nose right here. It's like it's bruised. It's been there for a couple days. It's weird. But that's, that's the thing. I would never wear a shirt, like, as funny as I think it would be to have a shirt that was like asterisk, 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 profanity, I would never wear it. It's like I have this shirt that a friend gave me that I like and I agree with. It's this purple shirt that has three check boxes, and the top one says homosexual, and the middle one says heterosexual, 
and the bottom one says fabulous and that's the one that's checked and I love that shirt and I totally agree with it because I'm like it doesn't matter what I am I'm just fabulous and but the thing is I don't feel comfortable wearing it in public so it just sits in a drawer the only time I wear it is when I'm uh, cosplaying Mephisto then I take it out glasses sit. I can't tell if my glasses are destroying my face. pizza. Oh, I was going to schedule an oil change today. Oops. Taking forever. Time to slick it. Slick it good. Ba -na 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 -na. Sorry, my nose hurts. Mm, getting kind of hungry. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish edge slicking all of these belts, then I'm going to paint on the top clear coat on the breastplate, then I'm going to dye the belts, and then we're going to be done. I think that's my plan. Should I get you a pizza too? No thank you. I already had quesadillas for lunch, and I can't have that much cheese in one day. I'll probably make myself some salmon, maybe some tuna, kind of in a fish mood. <laughs> it's probably super unprofessional to have my webcam just like dangling right here in the other shot. Should at least attempt to move the cord, maybe. Nope, cord stand there. I recently hired a personal trainer, so I'm trying to be all healthy because he makes me document everything I eat. And then every time I go see him, he looks at everything I wrote down and he judges me. So, I'm trying to make it so that he doesn't judge me as much. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> this cup is full of glitter. How? Jupiter had fur. Charizard has glitter. I'm just using all of the messy materials. Excuse me, just had to wipe my mouth off. Where did my water bottle go? There it is. I know, but it's a lot of glitter. I didn't feel like I had that much on my hands. I guess I did.
Yeah, don't drink the clear water. Don't worry, not a temptation. Leather is an amazing material that I am definitely going to use more. The same girl who made my Charizard, I hired her to make me Zapdos. And it's Zapdos in the style of the Amazons from Wonder Woman. Um, and it's boss. It's almost done. And that one I'm going to make out of pretty much entirely leather. Crick in my neck. Who is this miracle person? Oh, my, uh, my designer? Um, her, she goes by Catamancy. 